Okay, let's get on with it. No messing around. Here we are again. Yes, once more we are together and <laughs> welcome to the hottest day of the year. And guess where I am? Can you guess where I am standing at the moment on the hottest day of the year? You will find out in a moment. Welcome. Here we go again. It's another English Addict Live from the birthplace of English, which just happens to be England. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you happy and cool? I really hope so. Here we are again. Yes, my name is Duncan. I talk about the English language. Let's get underway. We have made it all the way to the end of the week. Yes, it's Friday. <laughs> We are here again once more. I hope you are having a good Friday where you are. Whatever is going on in your life, I hope it is going in a super duper way. Yes, we are here again and we have a couple of interesting things. I hope they are interesting. Yes, I know it's me. <laughs> it's only me. Nothing special. I always try my best to be special, but, you know, sometimes you can't succeed, but I try. Hello to everyone on the live chat. Nice to see you. Oh, hello, uh, Nadia. Nadia Avre or Avye. Hello to you. You are first on today's live chat. <laughs> Am I going fast enough? Goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> oh, dear. I was supposed to be outside today. I was hoping to be in the garden. Unfortunately, <laughs> we are suffering a plague at the moment. Not the one you're thinking of. There is another plague taking place. A plague of insects. So the reason why I'm in the studio today on the hottest day of the year, it is. It's the hottest day. It's about 31 degrees outside and I'm in the studio with the windows closed underneath lots and lots of studio lights. And the reason is because of this small insect. There it is. That is the reason why I am currently baking inside the studio it is because this particular insect is now flying around everywhere in fact if you look behind me today you will notice behind me there are lots of insects flying around lots of things buzzing around with my live background and it is this particular insect which is causing all the problem this is called a thrip thrip that's it some people call them thunderbugs so this tiny little creature it is only about two yes i think a couple of millimeters long but there are thousands and thousands of them at the moment flying around outside my studio window and because of that i can't go outside so the reason why I'm not outside is because of this particular creature. It's called a thrip <laughs> or thunderbug. And they are absolutely everywhere, as you will see when I come back onto camera. So if you look closely behind me, you'll see lots of little things flying around. And besides thrips, there are also other insects causing lots of trouble today. 
and I'm going to show you them right now would you like to have a look at the insects that have been causing me a lot of trouble besides the thrips we also have flying ants So that is the reason why I'm in the studio today. You can see lots and lots of flying ants. They were coming out yesterday. And today, <laughs> sorry, my phone is ringing. Oh, today I have thrips bothering me. This tiny animal, this this small insect is causing lots of trouble at the moment lots of problems at the moment <sighs> and that's the reason why I'm in the studio right now and I am absolutely baking hot <laughs> it's about 90 degrees in the studio at the moment it's 30 what is it about 30 degrees is it 30 Celsius today outside the hottest day of the year we are having today we will be playing the sentence game for those who like playing the sentence game we are looking at the letter n so all of the words today are n words they begin with the letter n for naughty nice and other things can you think of any other words that begin with n no not that one definitely not that one please please <laughs> not that one not that one no <laughs> I just said no not that one <laughs> the sentence game coming up we are going to look at some unusual words as well you know I like to show you strange words weird words odd words unusual words well I thought we would do that right now let's not waste any time because time is precious it certainly is <laughs> more strange words to look at today yes on Friday we always like to have a look at strange words so that is what we're doing right now would you like to see some strange words <laughs> here's a strange word it's on your screen right now proprietor proprietor oh mr duncan that is a very interesting word proprietor what on earth is a proprietor when we say proprietor we are actually naming a person who owns property or a business so if you have a, a building or if you have a place where you work from you have your own business and you are the owner of the business and also the building you run the business you own the building you are the proprietor proprietor so the person who maintains a business the person who is in charge of the building or sometimes we say premises as well premises the premises is the place it is the shop the building the office 
and the person in charge the person who owns the place is called a proprietor proprietor oh mr duncan that is an interesting word so we are looking at some unusual words today i hope you are enjoying your friday proprietor is the person who owns a property you might go to a shop maybe you want to make some inquiries about the business or maybe the building and you might ask to see the proprietor would it be possible to see the proprietor i would like to speak to the proprietor of this shop the proprietor i like that word it is a very unusual word indeed i think so but there it is our first unusual word for this friday by the way it's the final day of july we are reaching the end of our month of extra english lessons so from sunday from sunday next sunday we will be back with you three days a week three days a week on sunday wednesday and friday from 2 p.m uk time so from tomorrow august the first we will be back to three days a week i'm sure that is good news for many people <laughs> and maybe not good news for others we will see what happens more strange words let's have another strange word would you like to have another look at a weird word here's another one. Oh, i like this one <laughs> gumption gumption so a person who has gumption they are a person who has perseverance or maybe ability to think or maybe a person who has a lot of ability maybe up here you see gumption they have a lot of ability gumption you are a person who has a lot of gumption i love that word gumption <laughs> gumption that is how you pronounce it gumption apparently in italian pr proprietario is a very common word so that would be the owner you see the owner of the property the owner of the establishment or maybe the owner of the business as well you see so there are many ways of using that word gumption oh i like that word gumption <laughs> Irina says it sounds like Forrest Gump. It does a little bit, doesn't it? So a person with gumption is a person who is able to do things very well. Maybe a person who has a lot of mental abilities. Maybe they are a person who is able to do something technical. You have a lot of gumption. Gumption. It's a great word. We are looking at some unusual English words today and that is what we are doing right now thank you very much for your comments today we are getting a lot of comments coming through thank you very much for your lovely messages today oh thank you very much a lot of people coming through today very nice to see you here today <laughs> how nice is that <laughs> so when we say gumption we are actually saying you have common sense you have an ability to think logically maybe or to do the right thing you have good sense i suppose that's another word we can use as well good sense good sense you have gumption oh i like that word it is unusual after a very wet scorching day to have flying ants appear says ricardo well here we are having lots of insects around because it is the height of summer so many insects are now starting to fly around so yesterday we had the flying ants they were everywhere and today we have well <laughs> today we have the thrips today so that that is what is causing problems for me today 
the thrips they are being quite a pain to be honest they are being a big pain and because of that tiny insect that's the reason why I'm in the in the studio today baking hot I can already feel the sweat starting to form on my face it is so hot in here <laughs> so if I suddenly collapse on the floor you will know why it's because it's very hot in here another strange English word oh something that is preposterous oh I like that something preposterous you might describe something as being preposterous there are other words you can use as well besides preposterous <laughs> it's not easy to say actually especially when, when you've got a giant ulcer on your tongue preposterous ridiculous absurd something that's silly Prost, preposterous <laughs> very nice I'm doing well today I might just uh, I might just go back to bed to be honest did anyone see yesterday's live stream by the way did anyone see the live stream well there are problems because YouTube has not processed yesterday's live stream so now it is stuck locked away on YouTube so I am trying to let you see the link and also hopefully you will have a chance to watch yesterday's very interesting live stream which I did from the center of much Wenlock today doing my live stream outside would be preposterous it would trying to do my live stream outside today would be preposterous preposterous because there are flies everywhere there are insects flying all over the place so it would be preposterous it really would crazy silly <laughs> the flying ants are awful says Andy you are right flying ants get absolutely everywhere the flying ants they get in your in your ears under your clothes under your hat and today I have difficulty with <laughs> thrips this particular creature is causing me a lot of trouble today and you might not believe it but those tiny insects can actually get inside your equipment so that's another reason why I can't do my live stream outside because those insects will actually get inside they will get into your equipment and of course they can cause damage if they do that so that is the reason why thrips do these insects cause illness no this particular insect does not cause illness they are just very irritating they are small and irritating and at the moment outside I'm sure you can see behind me lots of things flying around and that is <laughs> the insect that I'm talking about right now there are thousands of them thousands and thousands of them flying around outside at the moment and they are very annoying here is another one another strange English word we are looking at these and then we are going to play the sentence game for the final half hour we will play the sentence game together on the last day of July and of course there are just 12 days before my birthday <sighs> oh dear 12 days before my birthday so the thrips don't bite they are they just walk around on your skin so they don't bite you but they they are horrible they so when when they get under your clothes and into your ears they, they are really annoying so they are horrible horrible and they are so small you can only just about see them 
They are tiny. So they are only around two millimeters long. So that is how small they are. But there are thousands and thousands and thousands of them all around outside at the moment. Do they have a bad smell? No, they don't. They don't have a bad smell. Here's a word that describes that particular insect. <laughs> the thrips abound at the moment. Abound. If something abounds, it means it is plentiful. <laughs> there, there is lots of that particular thing. They are all over the place. <laughs> Abound. To be plentiful. To flourish. To thrive. So you might say that the insects outside my house at the moment are thriving. They abound. They are everywhere. They are plentiful. <laughs> plentiful. That also is an interesting word, an unusual word, maybe plentiful. If something is plentiful, it means there is lots of it abound. So at the moment, there are lots of those insects flying around. They are in a large amount. There are many of them all over the place. Dear. Another unusual word. We have time for maybe three more. Here's another interesting word. Ooh. <laughs> A very short word. We often use this particular word in British English. There it is. The word is duff. Duff. If something is duff, it means it is useless, broken. It serves no purpose. Something that is duff is broken. It doesn't work anymore. It serves absolutely no use because it no longer works. Duff. It is a duff device. This machine is duff. It doesn't work. It's useless. It serves no purpose. In English, we can also say the word duff, we can use this word also if we are hitting someone, especially in British English. You might duff someone. You will duff them up. <laughs> so to hit someone, punch someone, we can say that you duff that person up. You punch that person. Lil says, oh, that is like the Simpsons. Yes, the beer that Homer Simpson likes to drink. Mmm, beer. <laughs> the beer that Homer Simpson drinks is called Duff. Duff beer. So quite often something that has no purpose or is useless, we describe as being Duff. Duff quite often used in British English, that particular word, something that no longer works, it no longer functions, it is useless, it is duff. We have two more and then we are going to play the sentence game. Oh, this is an interesting one. Maybe you've heard of this word before if you are involved in the building trade. We normally use one of these to allow a person to move safely from one place to another. Quite often at height. So high up, high up. Gantry is the word. So this describes a certain thing. A thing that you walk along, a thing that you can safely walk across. Gantry, gantry. So a walkway, normally high up, normally high up. Yes, The Simpsons. A lot of people like The Simpsons. I don't like it anymore. It used to be really funny, but I don't think it's as good as it used to be. Some people say the same thing about me. Mm. 
gantry we can also say walkway as well you can have a walkway gantry I suppose you can also say scaffold as well so normally on the side of a house maybe when a building is being constructed or maybe a building is having some some renovation work done to the front you will often see lots of steel tubes joined together and we call that scaffold scaffold also a framework as well a framework a gantry a support so a person who is working high up can safely move around on a gantry finally I think this is the last word the last unusual word for today one more oh if you are a person who enjoys working out sums or maybe if you are working out the number of things maybe if you are working out statistics ah statistics or figures a person who does that a person who works out all of those things is called a statistician statistician I will say it slowly for you statistician 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 a person who works as a person who is doing or working out or trying to figure out certain things normally involving numbers the number of things that do something the number of people that are affected by something a person that does that is called a statistician statistician it is the noun that describes a person who works out statistics figures and that is it that is our final strange word for this Friday in a couple of moments we are going to play the sentence game and today we are looking at the letter N there it is the letter N is what we are looking at so I will be showing you some sentences with certain words missing and those words all begin with the letter N yes a statistician is a person who works out figures and numbers that is their job there are many people quite often working in government or sometimes for the government and they will work out figures numbers they are a statistician they work out statistics are you ready to play the game the game that everyone likes to play and here we are on Friday we are about to do it again it is time to play <gasps> the sentence game let's go We are playing the sentence game on a Friday. Are you ready? We are playing the sentence game. That is what we are doing. And if you look behind me, behind me, by the way, that is a live view outside right now. And you can see there are hundreds, if not thousands, of flies all buzzing around outside. And that is happening right now so the view behind me is now <laughs> that is live <laughs> and that's the reason why I'm in the studio today and not outside <laughs> unfortunately hmm. of course I'm ready Mr Duncan I'm glad to hear that let's have the sentence game we are going to play it right now a lot of people like to play this game 
so that's what we are doing right now we are not <laughs> what the letter P something very strange is happening here <laughs> well that isn't right <laughs> let's try again shall we how strange I don't know what happened then ah that's better shall I just go to bed I think I'm going to go back to bed there it is <laughs> I don't know where that P came from I think that was last week wasn't it okay here we go here we go let's uh, we're back on track we're back on track okay I can't begin to tell you how hot it is in here. It's about it's about 100 degrees in the studio at the moment. <laughs> if I suddenly collapse on the floor, you will know why. Here we are then. We are going to play the sentence game. <laughs> and here is the first one. You will see a sentence on the screen with some missing words. What you have to do is tell me what the missing words are. I hope this is the right one. Oh, OK. Yes, we are all right. OK, so we are looking for the letter N. So we are looking for N words, words beginning with N. Behave yourself out there. Please behave yourself. <laughs> the words begin with N. We, we have nine letters. And also eight letters. I must drink some water. I'm I'm really sweating here at the moment. Valentin says, I can't remember your strange words. Well, maybe you should write them down. If if you are watching this, it is always good to write the words down. So don't just try to remember them straight away. What you should do is write them down. Any any new words that you are introduced to, you should always write them down. And then you learn the word and you learn the meaning. Don't forget to drink water. Whew. It is so hot in this studio. I can't begin to tell you how hot it is. <laughs> I feel like I'm melting. I can't open the windows. Because all of those flies you can see behind me, they will all come in here. So all of the windows in the house, all of the windows are closed today. We can't even open the windows at all because the flies will come in and just invade the house. He is something for his love of something. Oh, so we have nine and eight. Nine letters and eight letters. He is something for his love of something cuisine. By the way, the word cuisine is a clue. It's actually a clue. So the word cuisine is actually the French word for cookery, cookery, cooking. So cuisine just refers to anything to do with cooking or cookery. Is that a clue? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> he is something for his love of something cuisine. We are looking for two words. Please don't complain that this is easy and please don't complain that this is hard. This might be easy for some people. It might be difficult for others. Two missing words, both of them beginning with the letter N for naughty. Nice. <laughs> Which one are you? Are you naughty or nice? I wonder. A few more seconds and then I will give you the answer. We have quite a few of these to do today before three o'clock. Mm -mm -mm. A few more seconds. Ah, we've had we've had a couple of correct answers. We've had a couple of correct answers. 
Don't forget you are more than welcome to play at home. Play along with the sentence game. It will help you improve your word power. It really will. He is something for his love of something cuisine. Hmm. It is not French. Not French because that doesn't begin with N. So if you are if you are well known for something if you are well known maybe a person says that you are well known for that thing or that type of behavior a lot of people know you see hmm we are getting some very interesting guesses some very interesting guesses do 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 look at the flies behind me there are flying ants there are thrips you might see the occasional butterfly go by behind me so behind me that is the garden right now it is full of horrible flies everywhere and it also happens to be the hottest day of the year here in England <laughs> it's about 31 degrees outside and I think it must be about maybe 40 here in the studio <laughs> so if I suddenly collapse on the floor you know why Mr. Duncan, you are well known for your skills behind the camera. Yes, I am, I suppose. Who? Wow. Are we still on? <laughs> we had a power cut then. We had a slight power cut. Did you see the lights? They went slightly dim and then came back on. Oh, dear. This is this is very strange. What a weird day we're having here. I have a feeling because of the, the heat outside and maybe in here, I think all of the electric cables are starting to melt <laughs> because it's so hot. I think so. Valentin, are you going to tell us about the birds and the bees? No, you will. Ha you will have to ask someone else about that. OK, we've had this up for nearly three minutes, four minutes. The answer is coming up right now. Thank you, Mr. Cockerell. Very kind of you to say hello again. Hmm. But what is the answer to today's first sentence game? I will give you the answer right now. <laughs> he is notorious. Ah, oh, notorious. He is notorious for his love of Nouvelle. <gasps> Mr. Duncan, you are very naughty. You see, I did give you a clue there with the French word. So the French word at the end was actually a clue to that word. Nouvelle. He is notorious for his love of Nouvelle cuisine it is a type of cooking or a type of cookery or a type of cooking that involves food that is fresh light healthy instead of having heavy food with lots of things piled up on the plate nouvelle cuisine often uses fresh ingredients things that are seen as healthy so that is what nouvelle cuisine is. Nouvelle means new in French. So it is basically new cooking or new cookery. To be notorious means to be well known for something. A person is notorious for a certain thing. You can be well known. You can be notorious. Sometimes that is 
a word that might be used negatively so you can use the word notorious in a negative sense you can there is a song by Duran Duran called notorious JM rich yes you are right notorious no 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 notorious that one you mean I think so so there it was today's first sentence game did you get it right did you get it right if you didn't don't worry there's another one coming now you might get this one right here is today's second sentence game <laughs> there are some very strange things happening by the way with my computer and also the electricity <laughs> if I suddenly disappear you will know why <laughs> you will know why oh hmm it is really something for you to something at me all the time so this is actually a question you are asking a question and it sounds as if this might be an angry question not a polite question I think this might be an angry question is it really something for you to something at me all the time is it is it really something for you to something at me all the time Yes, Khalid. When we talk about Nouvelle Cuisine, yes, you are using very light sauces, things that bring the flavour and the goodness out of the food. There is one particular place here in Much Wenlock and they do Nouvelle Cuisine. However, it is very expensive. <laughs> needless to say, needless to say, I prefer to have a lot of food on my plate <laughs> I'm sure you know that already if you are a regular viewer you will know that already so this is the second sentence game for today and all you have to do is tell me what the missing words are we have nine letters and three letters both of them beginning with N N for Nancy Nancy it is a girl's name it is also what my father used to call me <laughs> oh dear happy days we have some answers coming through now thank you very much for your answers oh we are getting quite a few answers coming through now I'm just checking oh yes quite a few answers coming through now on the live chat nice to see so many people here as well thank you for joining me today very nice <laughs> nice to see you here is it really something for you to something at me all the time we have we have some oh we have some correct answers we have some incorrect some wrong answers as well two interesting words is it really something for you to something at me all the time by the way my my little ulcer on my tongue is still there uh. Uh. can you see it <laughs> it's horrible it's it's a little ulcer because the other night I was eating something hot and it burnt the front of my tongue and now I have this awful ulcer on the end so as I speak or as I eat it is incredibly painful 
<laughs> so all of the words that I'm saying to you today are actually causing me a lot of pain as I'm standing here talking to you. <laughs> tomorrow I will get a chance to give my tongue a rest because I won't be here tomorrow. But I will be back on Sunday. Is it really something for you to something at me all the time? The answer coming up right now. <coughs> Cock a doodle do. Good. The answer is coming up right now. Is it really necessary? Yes, you see, the word is necessary. Ah. Sometimes something that must be done is necessary <laughs> thank you mr cockerel i wasn't expecting you to come up again necessary and nag nag <sighs> is it really necessary for you to nag at me all the time nag it's a great word so a person who is complaining all the time they are always telling you to do things in a certain way or maybe they are telling you to do something <laughs> they nag someone will nag at you nag nag is it really necessary is it really needed is it really necessary for you to nag at me all the time so you can see from this particular sentence it is a negative question you are asking why why do you keep nagging at me all the time why nag <laughs> it's also another word for horse as well an old horse can also be described as a nag as well nag a person who nags yes we have another 10 minutes and then i'm going to <laughs> put my head under the cold shower because I can't tell you how hot I am at the moment. Every part of my body is now sweating. In fact, I am sweating in places that I didn't realize could actually sweat. Here's another one, another sentence game with the letter N. Ah, oh, interesting. We have three missing words, three, not one, not two, but three missing words right now. We have six, eight and also seven. It is something to feel something when you are something. Oh, Mr. Duncan, I think this is a very hard one. You've made this very difficult for us, I think. It is something to feel something when you are something. But what? What is it? What are the missing words? We are looking for words beginning with N. So they all start with the letter N. Six, eight, seven. Those are the letters. Or should I say the, the number of letters that each of those words contain? Mohammed Ahmed says nag 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 I'm really sorry sweetie sometimes the wife might nag at her husband maybe at the weekend maybe the husband has been promising to fix something in the house but he never does it and then the wife will say why haven't you fixed that door that door it's been broken for many many months why don't you fix it? Of course, men can also nag as well. They can. 
Shard says you should do your live stream from an air conditioned studio. Well, that would be lovely. I would love to have air conditioning in here. <laughs> there is one problem, just one slight problem with that. Can you guess what it is? Oh, OK, then we are getting some very interesting answers coming through. By the way, if you want to give me a thumbs up, you can, of course, give me a lovely like to let me know you care. You can like and also subscribe if you want. Yes, that would be very nice. Very nice. You can subscribe like that you see it's as simple as that or of course you can <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you feel like it as well but only if you feel like it you don't have to you don't have to you don't have to give me a like you see it is something to feel something when you are something this refers to being maybe if you are about to have an exam maybe you are about to sit an exam an important exam maybe so if you are about to sit an important exam there is something you might actually feel you might feel a certain a certain way or a certain feeling mm. oh we have some very interesting words coming through negative and neglect interesting some very interesting words coming up Hello, Abdul. Oh, hello. Also, Richard. Parisa. Hmm. We are getting some very interesting answers coming through here. A couple of more seconds, another 20 seconds, another 30 seconds, maybe. Hmm. It is something to feel something when you are something. Thank you, Carl Ed. Thank you also. Anna Rita. Hello, Anna. Nice to see you here today. Welcome. Welcome. The answer is coming right now. You were late. Where were you? What were you doing? <laughs> I think I know what you were doing. I have a good feeling that I know exactly what you were doing down there <laughs> oh, okay then it is fine it is fine to feel sad when you are depressed okay we are looking for six eight and seven letters a few people got it right oh well done quite a few of you got it right congratulations here are the answers to this sentence game coming up right now Bing. ah mr duncan i see what you did there maybe you have an examination coming up maybe you are about to sit an important test maybe you feel nervous maybe you feel afraid sometimes the feeling of being nervous can cause you to also feel sick worried anxious nauseous ah nauseous it is normal to feel nauseous when you are nervous sometimes when you are feeling nervous maybe something is going to happen something you have to do you feel so nervous you actually start to feel sick yeah you actually start 
to feel a little bit sick nauseous it is normal to feel nauseous when you are nervous so there it was the answer to the penultimate sentence game we have one more and then it's time to go and I'm going to put my head underneath the coldest shower ever Oh, nor says, you know, my name begins with N. So it is my day. <laughs> I'm pleased to hear that it makes you happy. I really am. Here's the final one. Then we are going in a moment. The last sentence game is now. Oh, <laughs> this is something that people often say to me when I'm talking, when I'm standing in, in front of the camera going blah 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 people will say this to me something have i heard such a load of something five and eight letters five and eight letters I think I'm actually melting in this studio. I'm actually melting. I have sweat on my forehead. I feel so hot. I want some fresh air, but I can't open the windows because the flies will come in and they will cause quite a lot of chaos, to be honest. So that's the reason why I am so hot in the studio. <laughs> in fact, I am boiling hot. Something have I heard such a load of something, but what? Oh, OK, then. Oh, we have some clever clogs. We have some very clever clogs here today. If you call a person a clever clog, it means you are saying they are smart, brainy, clever, intelligent, clever, clo clever clogs. You are such a clever clogs. Nice. This is the final one and we will be going in a moment. Don't forget 2 p.m. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, Bill. Now, Bill, you need to you need to watch very closely here. All of the words begin with N. So we are looking for N words, words that begin with the letter N. <laughs> and your word definitely does not begin with N. It does not. We have a lot of people with the answer. Oh, well done. A lot of correct answers coming up. I will not keep you guessing any longer. That's it, Mr. Cockerell. You can have you can have a nice rest now. The cockerel is getting very hot. There is nothing worse than, a, than having a, an overheated cock. I think so. The answer coming up right now, a very simple one, this. A lot of people got it right. Maybe it was too easy. Ooh. Never have I heard such a load of nonsense. Never. Have I heard such a load of nonsense? Quite often, quite often said when I'm talking, they say, Mr. Duncan, never have I heard such a load of nonsense. Well, you don't have to listen to it much longer because I'm about to go. It is time to say goodbye. I hope you have enjoyed this one hour, this one hour. I hope it wasn't too long. And I hope it wasn't too boring for you. I will be back on Sunday. Don't forget, I will be with you on Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time. That is when I am with you. Sunday, Wednesday and Friday from the beginning of August. We are back 
to three days a week Sunday from 2 p.m. Wednesday from 2 p.m. and Friday from 2 p.m. as well that is it I am going now to cool down I'm going to <laughs> jump in to a bath of cold water to cool myself down catch you later I won't be here tomorrow I will be with you with you on Sunday okay and I hope hmm? look at my poor tongue It's very painful when I speak. <laughs> so every every word that I've said today has actually caused me a lot of pain. Thank you very much for your company. I'm going now. Thanks for watching. This is Mr. Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thanks for watching me and of course you can watch this lesson again with captions later on hopefully also you will be able to watch yesterday's live stream with captions even though now for some reason it is stuck in processing so come on YouTube can you please process my live stream from yesterday thank you very much this is Mr Duncan saying thanks for your time Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all of this. And of course, until Sunday, you know what's coming next. Oh, by the way, Mr. Steve will be with us on Sunday as well. And of course, you know what's coming next. Definitely. Ta-ta for now.